the time to rush Now is the time to give your heart Come just as you are to worship Come just as you are before your Lord Come Confess you are your One day every knee will bow Still the greatest treasure remains For those who gladly chose you now Come, now is the time to worship Come is the time to give your heart come just as you are to worship come just as you are before your Lord come one day every time we'll confess you are Lord Is the time to give your heart. Come, come, come. Now is the time to rush. Come, now is the time to give your heart. have just come to its end since the Sabbath of the full moon seven fifteenth six thousand and six and I am on the street to acknowledge and to welcome in your set of part Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon Sivan 22nd 6000 and 6 it has been a day of heat and it is amazing as I view the full moon six days ago and to behold it each night reduce in size until now it is almost half in prepare in preparation 
for your set apart Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon. I am here to declare to the world that neither Saturday nor Sunday is your set apart Sabbath. I am here to inform and to remind the world that it was that your Sabbath is determined by the new moon and also to declare to the world that it was Constantine of Rome who divorced or removed your Sabbath from the phases of the moon. At the moment, the world is in a state of confusion and darkness because many are not willing to reject Babylon. Many have become accustomed to the practices of practices of Babylon and despite the fact that Revelation 14 and Revelation 18 speak in a loud voice telling us to fear Yahuwah and to keep his commandments for the hour of his judgment is come telling us to worship him Elohim who made the heavens and the earth and the fountains of water who also issue the warning that Babylon is falling is falling and that his people are to come out, come out of her, my people, says Yahuwah. Despite of Yah's proclamation, men continue to resist. A storm is on its way, and it seems like it may be that is how Yah is sh showing are putting a difference between his holy day and the six working days of the week. This evening I want to thank Yahuwah Most High for his words. I want to pass to thank him for his care and his protection and his mercy towards us. I want to thank him that he has not kept us in darkness but his shepherds are proclaiming to us on the air through YouTube through the net that your Sabbath is determined by the new moon many will not even give notice many do not even listen or try to get informed but like Isaiah 1 says if he be willing and obedient he shall eat the good of the land but if he refuse and rebel he will be devoured with the sword. Yo is moving by his spirit, moving in all the
turn. I want to turn the pages. And I want to do a little reading. It is sad. Very, too, very sad to know that the greatest event on the face of this earth is ignored by the world. It is sad that many knows, many know that Saturday is not the Sabbath, but they will say things like, I do, I hear, but I do not subscribe. So, if we continue to reject Yah's word, Yah will have no choice but to reject us. Yah will have no choice to but to reject us your sabbath is the memorial of his great creation we honor our creator when we worship him during sanctuary time the day he has blessed and set apart as holy time. We can only know which day is the seventh day when it is observed using Yahuwah's original calendar of creation as our point of reference. So we cannot, we cannot find your Sabbath on the Gregorian calendar. The reason is your Sabbath is hidden by Constantine in the Gregorian calendar. And it is surprise it is <laughs> may come to a, a, as a shock to us. But your Sabbath has not been on Saturday in almost two years. The last time we have the, Saturday, the Sabbath falling on Saturday was July of 2017. And the Sabbath won't be on a Saturday until in the month of the Gregorian September. So we cannot... We cannot find your Sabbath by the Gregorian calendar. I think I'm going to do a quote quickly because we are expecting a storm. And, well, I may, I may got, get caught in it, but it's okay. I am here to welcome and to acknowledge your Sabbath. And I would think the least one could, should do is to acknowledge your Sabbath when it comes around. Yahuwah was using his calendar before he gave it to the Israelites through Moses. It is not a Hebrew calendar or, well, they are saying Jewish, but I know that your your people can't be Jew because there's no Jew, J in the Hebrew alphabet. Your people are Hebrews. Israelites are Yadian. So it's not an Israelite calendar. Yahuwah created it and used it before any human being existed. It is used, it was used from the first day of creation. But the principle of calendation was established on the fourth day while human beings were created on the sixth day.
Yahuwah recorded the flood in the time of Noah according to creation calendar. Genesis 8 verses 4 to 14. We could take the time to read it. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. The Israelites were commanded to observe Yah's calendar at the time of the Passover. The Passover lamb was to be killed on the 14th, which was observed on the night of the 15th, which would be a Sabbath, on the lunar month, Nisan 15, at the full moon, and every full moon is a Sabbath. Every third quarter of the moon is a Sabbath, and every fourth quarter of the moon is a Sabbath. The counting was determined from the beginning of the new moon, crescent, crescent. The word month originated from the word moon, Exodus 12, 1 to 7. All of Yahuwah's holy days are determined from the time of the new moon, the 14th day of the first month at evening is Yah's Passover. 14 days atonement, 10 days from the new moon, meaning from the time you observe the first silver, blow the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed on the solemn feast, the, the Israelites recognize the beginning of, the, of each new month or new moon by observing it, calculating it. 1 Samuel 20, verse 24 and 27. Of the new Sabbath, of the new moon, for a set feast. The southern tribes of the children of Judah returned after their 70 years of Babylonian captivity or, ex or exile. All the observation were restored, the new moon and all the set feast of Yahuwah. And that is found in Ezra 3, verse 1 to 6. Well, I, I may not be able to stay much longer because of the threatened, threatened, um, threatened storm. But let's remember that your Sabbath is a sign between you and his people and his people Israel I have a few mark texts that I if I get the chance I would like to share if I may let me see Yes, the time is here for us to rebuild the old ways places because your Sabbath is being forgotten. Even though we are 
told in the scriptures that it is Yah himself who have caused his Sabbaths to be forgotten. I'll just read this before. It says, and those who will rebuild the always places you will raise up the foundation of many generations. You will be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of the streets to dwell in. If you turn away your foot from breaking the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure, your own business on my holy day and call the Sabbath to delight, the holy of Yahuwah, honorable, and will honor him by not doing your own ways or finding your own pleasure, nor engaging in your idle conversation then you will find your joy in Yahuwah and I will cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father for the mouth of Yahuwah have spoken it let me see what is this oops oops <laughs> oh dear all right I think um, condition is not favorable um, okay maybe yes I'm going to take a look at Isaiah 56 verses 3 to 8 because y'all regard those y'all regard those who keep his Sabbath I hope to find it quickly before the rain comes. Isaiah 56. That's, yes. Isaiah 56. Yes, Isaiah 56 verses three to eight. Let me read this quickly. Isaiah, yes, do not let the son of the Gentiles who join themselves to Yahuwah speak, saying, Yahuwah has separated me from his people, nor let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For this is what Yahuwah says to the eunuch who keep my Sabbaths and chose those things which please me and hold fast to my covenant. I will make, I will give them in my house, even within my walls, a place ministering position with power and a name equal to that of sons and daughters. I will give them a name and an everlasting, I will give them the name of the everlasting Yahuwah, 
which shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the Gentiles, who join themselves to Yahuwah to serve him, and to love the name of Yahuwah, to be his servants, every one who keeps his Sabbaths without polluting and defiling them, and who hold fast to my covenant. I will bring them to my holy mountain, and I will make them joyful in my house of prayer. Therefore, their burnt offerings and their sacrifice will be accepted. My altar upon my their burnt offering and their sacrifice will be accepted upon my altar, for my house will be a house of prayer for all people. Yes. Surely it is dark now, and your Sabbath has begun. This is your Sabbath. This is your set apart Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon for the third biblical month, Sivan, 22nd, 6006. Let us remember that if we say we love Yah, if we say we love our Savior, it is Yakaman who is called John says, if we say we love him, we are also to walk as he walk. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, said Yahuwah. Happy Sabbath, world. Let us be willing and obedient <laughs> so we may eat the good of the land. These are my dogs again. <laughs> all right. Okay, hush. Hush. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> oh, don't let him eat me, please. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, yes, so this is your Sabbath. It is signed between your and his people. Let's remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So that when Yahusha shall burst the clouds of heaven, coming in power and glory. Those of us who keep his Sabbath day holy, keep his feast days holy, and love one another, will inherit or will be found worthy to enter in through the gates into the city. Holy Sabbath day of rest. love me keep my commandment it is yeah it was Yahusha who said full well he reject the law of Yah so that he can keep your own tradition let us leave pagan and pagan feasts and practices alone and let us cast our lot in with Yahuwah our creator and let us remember to keep his Sabbath day holy. Let us obey him, because to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of lambs. May the blessing of Yahuwah be upon us as we keep his Sabbath, the third Sabbath of the third month, Sivan, 21st, 22nd, 6006 happy sabbath 
Bird. Shalom.